Hey there, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new video. So for this week's video, I'm going to be doing something which I wanted to do for a while, which is to DIY my own watercolor booklet. Actually, I have to give credit where credit is due to Super Vizzle because in one of her videos from about two to three to four months ago, she DIY'd her own watercolor booklet. So from that point, I just wanted to do it. I just wanted to do it and she did it as a part of a hack video but i said to myself i should probably remake it into a video where i do an artwork with them and test them and see everything about them so that's what i did today so of course subscribe hit that notification bell and also go to my instagram if you were interested in my work and you want to see pictures and anything like that and I would just like to give two shout outs before I start this video to one of my personal friends, Nitro FN. He's a gamer here on YouTube who does gaming videos. And I'm pretty sure that you're gonna be interested in his content. And the second channel is One Minute Hacks. One Minute Hacks uploaded its videos about anything that you can imagine, any hack that you can imagine. And it, make sure to go to their channels, which its link is gonna be down below, and go and subscribe to their channels. And yeah, so without further ado, let's begin. Okay, guys, so the first item which you have to have is some water color paper the reason that you want some good quality watercolor paper is that you're gonna be drenching it in water like as a normal palette so you're gonna be needing some thick watercolor paper next up in the game is some watercolor pencils you're gonna be having these so they could be like the watercolor themselves i'm using here the Faber Castell ones, as you see, and you can use any other kind, but I'm just sticking to the old and trusty ones. And the third item is some scissors, and the fourth is a ruler, and the fifth is a pencil. So let's get started. So I started by getting my watercolor paper and my pencil and my ruler and dividing it into four parts or three parts as you see here and I repeated the process for a couple of times and then I started by cutting the paper into three different parts because it's going to be a watercolor booklet and the page isn't going to be this big it's going to be a tall slip of paper and then when you have your watercolor paper all cut up you're going to get your watercolor pencil and you're going to press hard so hard so you can get the pigment out and as you see here i started pressing so hard so i could get the pigment out honestly it was just so frustrating so now that we're done with the first one we're gonna get some good old acrylic paint and just go and wrap it on there and get your brush and paint it and what that will help in is that it will make the paint not go like like so into the paper because after all it's a it's paper and it can happen the the water can soak through the pencil so you don't want that to happen So now that they are all done, as you see here, we're going to staple them all together so they could be one watercolor booklet. Guys, we're done with it all. So now I'm going to swatch them and see how they okay, perform. So let's just try these now. It's loading in my brush, but not as normal watercolor would. Ooh! It's actually working, guys. Guys, I don't believe this. What is this wizardry? I'm going to swatch all of the other colors and come back.
Okay, so now that we get our these swatches, it's time to make the actual artwork. And my thing here is that it's kind of similar, but not the same. But let's get on to the real test here, which is making an artwork with them. So as you see here, when I started, I started by like making everything that I would normally do when making a galaxy, and I made that. And you know, it was all going so good, and I felt like they were so pigmented and i was in love with that fact so yeah um but as they started to dry i began to notice some differences in the color like when they dry they get a lot less pigment like they show like there's no pigment in them and yeah here you know i'm just doing my thing and yeah And here is when I started to notice that they don't blend as good as normal watercolor. They just went the same. And honestly, that's what I expected. I DIYed these and nothing will ever come out as it was made in a factory from my hand. So yeah. And yeah, at this point, I was probably like, these are the same thing as the other watercolor. There is no difference, but turns out that, that, that there is a difference. The difference is that when it dried, I'm going to show you a side by side comparison and show you when it dried, how much pigment faded out of it. and just twinkling in some little stories and yeah that's it i have enjoyed this video i know that it's not that big of an art trick in this one but feel free to comment down below to, and say that you enjoy this content kind of content and if you do i will kindly make it in the next videos in the future and yeah i hope that i will see you guys all next time good bye